All right, this week I'm going to talk about uh, combining some of like the other uh, previous videos I've done. So like uh, pretty much like using like uh, social media hobbies and like uh, uh, to get into like uh, your creating your own like support groups type of deal. So like uh, for instance, like uh, if like uh, you're into like uh, health and fitness, what you can do is like uh, use like uh, uh, social media. So like. Uh, to kind of create your own groups type of deal so uh, this is where like uh getting back to the point of like um social media can be either a blessing or a curse so, like uh, the curse side is that you can yeah uh, there's a lot of bullshit that's out there on the internet and everything so you kind of have to wade through a, a, a lot of the, the stupid stuff that people uh, put out there so like uh with like, like uh, the health and fitness example, like uh, there's like a, a lot of uh, uh, people that like are putting out like misinformation and like uh, or incorrect information and or outdated information. So like uh, like like uh, for instance, like uh, uh, protein intake. Like a lot of times, like uh, people think that you can only absorb thirty grams of protein per sit in or whatever. So like uh uh Athlean X I know did a video like uh, uh years ago, like one of his earlier videos where he actually like on a whiteboard, you know, like, broke it down and like it was uh, based on like a study from like uh, the nineteen sixties where they took like uh these different foods like eggs, uh, milk and like uh steak and like all these different foods and like uh looked at the absorption rate and uh, of you know, all of the, all of them and looked at it and like they came out like with an average and like okay well like uh the uh based on all this information it looks like you can only like uh, uh like absorb 30 grams of protein per sit in or or whatnot so like uh and of course you get into the con like with that you get into the concept of like uh uh uh, absorption versus like utilization so like uh, uh there are people that can like actually go in uh, a lot further into the science of that but like uh in, in a sense like you're pretty much absorb absorbing all the protein that you take and like it's just a matter of like uh you gotta think of like how you utilize it so like uh are you uh, utilizing like uh the protein to do like your uh, basic uh, organ functions and again how like your heart needs to work your kidneys liver spleen whatever or like like uh or uh, like you you utilizing that like when you're lifting weights are you actually you utilizing it to build muscle or something so like uh it's kind of like a concept that we have to like uh, kind of like a step back and like look at like a uh, with the athlean x video that he did years ago like broke it down it's like hey look you actually absorb more but we got to think of the concept of like uh utiliz utilization so like uh, in a sense like uh, you could like um absorb more uh protein per meal but like uh what you could could do is like kind of use like that 30 grams as like a, a guideline because like uh uh shredded sports science did a breakdown of a video like a few years ago where like um like the, the quick like 10 15 minute video where like he broke down like uh the like the hierarchy of like a protein intake like uh he taught you talk about quality and quantity like frequency and timing and stuff like that and he broke it down uh, so this is like uh, what you can do like with uh you uh with the uh, social media like a uh, uh the process of like, uh, like being a curse whereas you have to like i said wade through the bullshit or whatever but with the in regards to this like uh, using uh social media to kind of like a, uh in a sense create like a support group like uh with like a, in a sense like with athlean x like uh like, and of course i did a video on what like, uh, on on it on that as well so like uh what you can do like with the health and fitness is get into like the the uh programs and everything and t uh, get up uh jump on into like the facebook group and like uh, start posting up and getting the like uh at least uh, electronically get to know know the people and then like uh, uh say like uh, uh you uh, do jump into like athlean x and you do the programs you like you do the ax1 ax2 and then you go on and do some of the other programs like the nxt ones or like uh like what i'm doing right now is the jack program you jump into the facebook group they kind of yeah uh, yeah ask questions like hey look I'm uh, just starting uh, the AX one like uh, how did you guys go about it and everything and like you get people that uh, are already part of Team Athlean and they can you know, sit there and answer your question well hey look, look uh, I did this like uh, six years ago so like uh, it's a bit fuzzy but this is the stuff I did and everything you can get pointers and then you can build yourself up to like the uh, with the community to the point where like uh, you can actually start going to the ax live event that's held every year so like uh of course it got uh put on hold for uh for a while with the the whole uh, mess with the pandemic and everything but like uh, uh i started going back in like uh, 2019 
and I went to the uh, I got the what's the All Star package with like uh, which is the f uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And last year was the first year after like a, a like a three year hiatus because of the pandemic and everything. I did the MVP package, which opens up the Thursday. So like um, and how the 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 event goes is Thursday is like a a well one on one type of like training where like uh, in the morning and the afternoon you actually like are you know, dealing with like the, the a lot of the coaches and people that like uh, uh, Jeff Cavalier brings in and so like uh, like for instance like last year he had the uh, Gunnar Peterson Matt Wenin and like uh, Tony Blauer and like uh, they were like uh, uh, like in a sense instructors for like. Uh, that day and they uh, we would all uh, we'd go from like uh like we'd broke off in like halves and like half them would you know, go and talk with like uh these guys and like the other half we would go talk with these guys and then in the afternoon we'd switch and everything and so we get uh could be able to get like more one-on-one -on -one time with the, the coaches and then f what friday is is the actual conference where like uh like uh, for instance like this last year like uh, on thursday matt Wayne, who's like a, a big power lifter he, on Thursday, he had his own like uh, like a uh, course and everything that he like, uh, and he talked about his uh, his method of like the conjugated training method or whatever. And then like uh, on Friday, the conference, he actually had like a whole uh, lecture where he talked about the the same thing and everything. So that like uh, Friday is like in a sense the conference where you get to hear people like uh, people uh, lectures and stuff talking about uh, various different subjects. Like uh, for instance, this last year there was like uh, Andrew Huberman who's big time, uh, who's big name now and like, uh, talking about like a lot of the, like, uh, the, the studies and stuff. So like, uh, then like uh, after the conference on Friday, Saturday is the, uh, it was like a, like a competition where you can actually uh, like compete against like uh, uh, the fellow team athlete members and everything. And then Sunday you actually have an award, like an award ceremony. Like, uh, you get to see like, uh, sometimes people will get uh, named like, uh, uh so more people get named captain you know, like a team captain other people like uh, mr x of the year and like uh, several different types of awards and like um so it's a bit like the, the event itself is a bit pricey so like uh, you can go on and check the uh, ticket prices but like um and you first you got to add in like the hotel uh and like uh the cost for the hotel and for like food and stuff so the, but the I'm going to be like, a, a, it's well worth it. So this is like a way that you can use the internet to kind of like, a, in a sense, create a support group for your recovery. And like, a, so you build up like an electronic uh, support group. And then like, a, like, a go, like the event I just mentioned, you can build yourself up to that and everything and like start saving money. So like a, maybe you have a job uh, where you, you can work overtime. So maybe you work five or six overtimes for a little while so you can uh, put money away to be able to go to it and everything so because have having gone a couple times i'm pretty much like uh one of those people that's pretty much going to be going every year because like uh the people you meet there uh, like uh, it's definitely wor worth more uh than uh it's weight in gold so like uh this is how you can use like uh uh, uh uh interest and everything and get into like uh, creating your own support group electronically and then which can bleed over into like uh, starting to help uh, help you surround yourself physically with the uh better people so that way like uh, uh like when it comes to recovery like uh, it, going down the points where you can like uh kind of like uh, uh you know, like in a sense get to the point where you can control your urges you're able to like uh control your thoughts emotions behaviors you're just getting into like uh, uh building like a balanced lifestyle and everything and so uh this is how like uh, using like uh the uh social media to build uh support groups and like uh, which can uh, bleed over into helping you uh, with your recovery and everything so like uh you can do like uh, any uh, num a number of things so like uh, uh, it just doesn't have to necessarily be health and fitness you could get into like any of your uh any type of your interest like for instance like uh, you could be into like uh, something like dungeons and dragons which is like the pop uh, popular uh, tabletop role playing game so like if you're into like something like that, what you can do is like uh, you can go on like um like here on YouTube and start like uh, maybe like uh, watching some videos. Maybe you can uh, like, uh, using this as a hobby, you can get into like the local gaming stores and put like uh, in your uh, go in. Maybe you you buy yourself like a, uh, one of the, like the the player's handbook or something. Or it doesn't necessarily have to be D and D. It could be one of the other tabletop role playing games that's out there. The other one, uh, popular one is Pathfinder. So like what you could do is get like a 
the car rule book and put your name in. Hey, look, I'm looking for a group and everything. Like, I'm interested in playing. So, like, uh, like for instance, there's a couple, like, uh, stores in my area that, like, uh, and, like, uh, uh, I just uh, recently picked up some miniatures and I, so I put my name, like, hey, look, I'm looking for a group or, or whatever. So, like, uh, and apparently there's a group that's going to be playing, like, a steampunk uh, adventure pretty soon. So, like, um, I'll get in contact and see if it's still going or if it's already full or something. So, th this is another, uh, like, uh, idea you can use, like, uh, your hobbies to create, like, a support group and everything. So, like, uh, what you can do is like uh, look at it and like uh, you don't like uh, like I've gone on before. You don't necessarily need something like uh, AA or or smart recovery meetings as like a support group. Now, early on when like you're first starting to get uh, uh, your uh, uh, that f uh, your feet and solid ground or like a, you're building the foundation to build that house up for your recovery type of deal going into like a recovery based uh, support group would be uh, beneficial but like uh, uh, unlike AA like I've mentioned so, uh, stuff like uh, smart recovery is more about like uh, getting you on that solid ground so you can get on with your life so you can then this is where like coming in getting your other support groups could uh could lead to like a, a continuation so that way you can kind of like in a sense put your addiction behind and you can leave like a, going to like recovery based meetings and get into like a, a, a into like a other groups that you can use for support and everything so like a, like I said it's a combination of like using like a social media your, like your hobbies to create uh, in a sense like a support groups so like uh, uh, you can see kind of how like that uh, stuff can be like all intertwined together so like uh so like a lot of times what you need to do you don't necessarily want to go like oh i'm going to go do this and like uh you want to want to have to take a, a step back and like uh, kind of like uh, think things through so like uh you're not rushing off and maybe putting yourself in a situation like where like uh uh, maybe uh, like in a sense like uh, get with people that like uh, after D&D uh, uh, &D or whatever they, they're the type that goes out to the bars well like you may like oh well I'm not that type of person or anything so like I may not necessarily want to be like uh, get with this group but I know this uh, you find like another group that like um, a D&D &D group that doesn't drink so like you can hang out with them and uh, like the first group say maybe meets Fridays and the, the second group meets Tuesdays or something so like you go with the Tuesday group so that way it's a better fit for you so like uh, well, a lot of times what you gotta like uh, do is kind of like, have to take like a, a, an assessment of your unique situation so that way you can look at like all the different like uh, hobbies and like interests that you have so you can look at like and going online going like it's uh, like um at local events or like uh, stores or, or whatever your wherever your interests lie to be able to get uh those like uh, uh support groups that you can fit into where you know you can continue with your like uh uh recover like uh recovery get to the point where like uh uh, maybe after several years you're just like okay well this is like uh like going back to like the gym and getting with the athlete x example like it just becomes a part of your life where you don't even uh, think about like uh, uh your past life like okay this just this is in a sense my new identity this is like uh instead of someone who's dr uh, drinks all the time i'm someone who actually takes care of my health and everything so like uh so that's like uh, in a sense the big i yeah the big uh takeaway of, uh, of this is using like uh like things like social media hobbies uh, and getting support groups so you can in a sense uh flip the script of changing your identity from like a uh, negative type of person that's always like a screw you type uh, type of attitude to someone who actually like uh, takes care of themselves and has like a uh, a mentality of like oh instead of having like I going telling people to go screw themselves or whatever I, I, can, I can actually sit there and turn around and actually help other people and everything so like uh, tying together is like uh, several different videos I've done before this is like uh, just an idea of what you can do to be able to like uh, in a sense like uh, use social media get your support groups using hobbies and you know, getting all the things to, together to kind of like improve your quality of life so you can turn around and help improve the quality of life of others 